Good morning and welcome to a Tuesday morning. Um, today's quite busy, we have a training day. Um, we have our expert training course today, which is the main focus is machine polishing. Um, so yeah, I think we've got four people on today. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be quite a good busy day. Um, yeah, gonna try and get as much footage as I can, um, maybe some time lapse um, of the training to show you guys exactly what goes on. First things first though, I need to get this uh, place prepared. Um, it's quite early, I've got a few things to do. I've got to move a few cars around. The RX-7 will need to come out. Um, yeah, and just get ready. So I'm gonna crack on and I'll give you a little tour of what goes on on the training day in two minutes. See you guys in a sec. There we go, that's everything set up for the training. So the RX-7, as you see, is now out. She will have to go outside in a bit because we need the workshop space for the training. The M3 is back in the corner, as you can see. Um, we have uh, the training bonnet is out. Just so that we can do some demonstrations on different techniques, rotary, force, uh, force rotation, and dual action. I can go through the different techniques on the bonnet uh, before we move on to the car. Obviously not this car, um, because it doesn't really need it. Um, but we do have the Elgrand, which is our Elgrand, which we'll be using for training today. It does need a polish, as I've said before in a previous video. Um, she's never been detailed properly, so it makes sense just to use it for the training. And yeah, at least some bits will get polished, if not all of it, depending on how much we get done and um, you know how well the trainees, how well they go. Um, you know, if they're a, if they're a good bunch who are really up for it today and you know lots of energy they might get it all polished but it doesn't matter it's not about the vehicle it's about the training so have the workshop trolley out as well it just makes it easier for us to be able to you know grab what we need as we're training different polishes you know um, I'll get the pads out in a bit as well um, yeah so that's that's that sorted upstairs is all ready to go as well the shop's tidy and well stocked everything you could ever need so that's good so now we wander upstairs to the classroom so you come in you see the presentation is ready to go only a little bit of theory on this one to begin with um want to give we want to give trainees as much hands-on time with oops sorry uh polishes and polishers as much as they can that's the whole point of training today so we only go a little bit into cleaning, chemicals and stuff, um, just some basic knowledge. And then we look at pads and polishes in depth because that's what it's about. It's the focus point is machine polishing. So yeah, that's that's the most important thing. So yeah, a lot of bit of theory, let's say, on pads and polishes. So um, everything else is ready. We've had a bit of a change around in here, um, but we still have the refreshments laid out. I think it looks much tidier. Biscuits for everybody. Um, yeah, tea, coffee, water, and my cup of tea is waiting for me to finish off. Um, so yeah, they're gonna be here in the next five, 10 minutes. Um, there's always someone who's early, which is great. I love people being prompt. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna finish off making my cup of tea. And um, as I said, we will try and get as much footage as we can, um, but we're not promising anything. <laughs> so yeah. Whatever we manage to do, which hopefully is a lot more than the last training course that we promised you footage on, whatever we manage to do is coming up now. Enjoy.
go. That's today's training course finished. Um, really good day. We had great fun today. Um, the old ground's looking a lot better. I'll show you in a second. Um, the workshop isn't, it's in a right state. But that's the aim of training. Um, play with all the tools that they can play with, you know, different pads, different polish combinations, getting good hands on time um, with good practice, you know. It's not very often you get to use all these different types of tools and you know play about and have a play because most of the time when you're learning or um you know practicing or whatever it's going to be on a car um so this is you know well it's still on a car but you know what i mean a customer's car or your own car or something so the whole aim here is to take the stress away from that and just you know have fun with it on the course and just use all the tools um while you have a chance so yeah the uh, the old ground's looking much better. Um, I'm happy. Like I said, I haven't polished it since I, I've owned it, um, as we said in the previous video. But um, there's still a few areas that the guys didn't manage to get done. Um, again, that's not a problem. It's not about that on the training. It's about the training. This doesn't matter. Um, um, the, the vehicle doesn't matter. It's about, you know, having hands-on time and training. So, yeah, there's a few bits that I missed, um, not missed, a few bits that we didn't get a chance to do. So, I will have to look after them at another point and um, sort them out. But, you know, you see the difference in colour. Um, you know, you see on the wing, look at that, absolutely beautiful. And the, the bonnet, oh, it's like a new car. Or a van. <laughs> um, but yeah, much, much better. Yeah, pretty happy. Um, now, it does unfortunately mean that now I'm going to have to polish um, the rest of it. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to have to, and I'm going to have to look after the bits that they polish as well. So yeah, more work for me. But I have wanted this van to be sorted out for a while, so it gives me the enthusiasm to um, finish it off, really. But yeah, as you can see, the polisher holders are empty, which means they are spread all around the workshop, which is no problem. That's fine. Stuff everywhere. It's a mess. But we'll get it cleaned up. The M3 is in the corner and it will be completed tomorrow finally. So happy days. The RX-7 is sat outside in the dark. So I'm going to go and rescue that in because it's, you know, it's an old RX-7. I don't even know if it's still going to be there. It could just be a pile of rust left in the middle of a middle of the parking space. <laughs> there are four wheels in a pile of rust, but we'll see when I go out there. So I'm going to get her back in. Um, then I'm going to go home and have some tea because I'll tidy up in the morning and um, I'll pull the RX-7 in, take the L-Grand out. And I'm actually going to do a video on the RX-7. Now it's clean and it's in the middle of the workshop. It would be a good time to put a video up. So look up, look up, look out for that in our other videos um, um, for a little walk around and a little talk about the car if you're interested. If you don't care about it. Don't watch it, <laughs> but yeah, it'll just be a little walk around of the car and exactly what it is. So, yep, I'm gonna crack on now. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea while I just do a small bit of tidying up because I can't leave it alone. And um, yeah, I will catch you um, hopefully tomorrow when I should have a final reveal on the M3 being completed. That would be really nice, wouldn't it? Um, so I'm looking forward to that and I hope you are as well. So I will see you tomorrow.